Hey everyone, one of the things that I love so much about Brook Brook Body, besides all the workouts, is the opportunity to bring these woman to woman interviews to life because being able to inspire other women is really important to me and I think these are stories that really need to be told and you have a story that I have been wanting to share with everyone for a long period of time and I feel like now you're finally ready. This is Michelle everyone, she's a Malibu mom, girlfriend. Um, a mom in Malibu. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And uh, I'm just so proud. I'm so proud of you and the transformation that you've gone through is totally mind blowing. I, you know, found you and I found a workout that works for me and the energy that I get from the Malibu Booty Burn class, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's like, it's my lifeline. Uh, last October, this past October, I had to have a full hysterectomy and I couldn't work out and I went on the app and I just watched. I watched every video, <laughs> I watched. I read every comment, every everything you did, and I, 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 I did it like I would pop in a romantic movie, you know, and it got me through it, and see, it, it helped. I, I love this. I love your vulnerability. I love what you said, that it's okay to let yourself go, because the moment when we can sort of accept ourselves, yeah. who we are, where we are, the moment that we can surrender in the space of that dark place, that not good enough place, that I want more space, whatever that means, I think that self-acceptance is when our eyes begin to open about yes. who we are, where we've been, where we're going. And it's and it's I, liking the bad person as much as liking the good it's person. It's full acceptance, yes. which is so brave of you. And I remember when you were recovering, I remember us communicating in the community, which is why I love this yes. work, work body community so much. Besides the obvious results and, and vanity and the body changes that are going to happen, it's being able to count on some like-minded women, yes. being able to communicate and connect to be able to say, I have women reach out to me in the community and say, oh, I had a wedding or I was traveling or I had family in town for three days and ah, oh, I'm way behind. <laughs> and I say, you're not behind at all because today you're going to get right back into your groove exactly. and it is okay to let life happen. And I even remember when you had your ankle. Oh and my an gosh. Injury. And one thing after home, another, one thing arms. after another, doing arms, you yes. You're on the ground, doing abs. And, and when I have insomnia, I go into the bathroom and I do dips <laughs> off my bathtub. You're crazy. And I, I remember Girl, in class. What, you did what you needed to do. Exactly. And you know what it is? And we were talking about this outside of class today before you got there, that it's not just the workout. It's the energy and it's the it's the camaraderie of yeah, women it is supporting women it's women supporting women and it's also the shift that happens in the brain not just the chemistry of yes. the body but it's when you start to feel good about yourself again yes. when you start to get your confidence of maybe even it's a little bit of self accomplishment knowing Absolutely. I can made this commitment to myself and I knocked it out and maybe I didn't want to and maybe I was too busy and maybe I missed yesterday but today I got up and I did it. Whether you do five minutes of it, whether you do half absolutely, of what we're and doing, and whether you you're cry just through watching it. it, and you can cry, we cry. I cry through we it. We cry a lot. When she turns the lights out in on the Malibu booty burn, when I felt like everything was tumbling down, when I worked so and hard so to get there, and, and I was I only to halfway and there, hug you. you know, and I just, I, you know, that that stretch, the cool down, which to me is just as important as the workout itself. For me, it's the yeah. time that I get to connect with myself. And, and when you say, uh, give yourself a compliment, a personal really compliment. for a that's lot of women. really hard for me. And, and, and that's why you need to do it so you begin to change that inner dialogue. And, you know, those emotions that come up, which a lot of people say, why are we so emotional after a hard workout? Why do so many women cry yeah. in class? It's not because it's sad. No. It's because we check out of the world Absolutely. for an amount of time to push ourselves out of a comfort zone and to allow ourselves to check in with our body and just to feel and I tell everybody and you've heard me say this a hundred times whatever is coming up you let it come up and we know that we store all of our drama and yes. our trauma and everything especially like, you and I because like here in our hips, we have our gut. we have stomach stuff and yeah. and you know when I when when I when you were going through some some of your stomach stuff and I say stuff because we both have you know, autoimmune so we have Crohn's very similar and, yeah. medical challenges and you know being in the film industry you <laughs> in front of the camera me behind the camera 
it's not an easy mm -mm. it's not an easy uh, disease to live with because mm -hmm. you know you're running back and forth to the bathroom and you're a woman and you don't want people to see that part of you <laughs> there's nothing glamorous about it and and that goes back to exercise sweaty overweight underweight you know the skinny person hurts just as bad as the overweight person you know that yeah. that looks like away from their clothing and I didn't realize that until you know I was the sick girl mm -hmm. you know with my Crohn's and I was underweight and then I was the heavy girl because I just let myself go, you know, because I had something to say it was okay to let myself go. Mm -hmm. And now, just even in this interview, and I'm thinking back, you know, how can I really continue to see the person and stay on the path that I'm on? And for me, I'm, I'm thinking and realizing that it's just acceptance. You know, it's okay to have red vines for dinner. You're not going to die. <laughs> You're not going to gain 75 pounds back. And it's okay to miss a few days. And it's and okay it's to okay. have a cheat day. And it's okay to screw up, fail, have a day of fatigue. Compl and it's all okay. Can I, can I, I want to just share something with yeah. you because you may, might not know how much this touched my life. When I came to you in a really challenging struggle with my autoimmune disease, one of the most valuable pieces of advice, forget about medical teams, that you gave me as a woman and I know you can relate to everything I was going through because we share that, that struggle, is you said you have to accept the fact yes. that you have an autoimmune disease in your gut, stop stressing about it, surrender, accept it, here's what we're going to do. And just hearing that, and for, and for me being able to breathe into yes. it, and part of me was like, shit. Right? <laughs> but the other part Literally. of me was like, okay, let me accept that surrender to it and now figure out my plan and it sounds to me like that powerful philosophy is similar to where you sort of were in your darkest time of your life yes accepting yourself not beating yourself up for letting yourself go finding hope through your daughter not necessarily knowing how you were going to get there and just accepting it and then you walked forward and you have been walking forward never back since i met you 10 pounds, 10 pounds later, 10, or 76 pounds, just to be 76 pounds is a whole person. It's a complete transformation, mind, body, spirit. And it's just lifted and shifted everything about you, not the essence of you, right? Yes, because what, what it's, it's given me is, this is, I have to say, my daughter says to me, Mommy, it's so much easier to be happy than it is to be sad. Yeah, we hear that. <laughs> and, and, and I actually listened to, listened to it and I thought about it, you know, and she's over there with me, my support team, <laughs> and she's right. Because when I think about the energy that I put in, and that's the energy that yeah. you put into when you're in a flare up and not feeling well, Okay, so you gave me some really good advice about stress, yes. which I want you to share with everyone because as women, we overthink things, we overanalyze everything, we're all in our head, and as women, it's just like, it's our worst quality, right? Well, I noticed, well, when you'd come to me and said that, um, you know, help, I, yeah. I have, you know, I, you didn't say this, but in my mind, I thought... Oh, I was crying out I've, for help. I just didn't know how to because, like you, I'm not good at asking for help. Well, I thought I to I myself, she's, right. a, she's got, you know, this, she's the peak of her career right now that she's created. Not that, you know, you. a show or this or that, but you, this, is your, this is you. I mean, talk about vulnerability. I, I saw myself stressing about the stress <laughs> because when you have autoimmune, yes. you, you know, it's... If, you're, if you don't have acceptance, then you'll never get better. With weight loss, if you can't look at the mirror in the mirror and say, I need to lose weight, yeah. or I need to gain weight, I need or to be a better mom, there, whatever so it is. you're letting it just, but like I, you said to me, you go, you're stressing about the stress I of stress, the stress that's I do. going on. I stress about the stress about the stress. And my daughter says to me, why are you stressing? I said, I'm stressed because I'm stressing you out. <laughs> and then every other word is stress, 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 stress. And I'm like, okay, now I'm really stressed. But that's basically what it is. For me, 
if I break it down to the simplest thing and that's just reining myself in because I will not go back to that place. If I do. So how did you start? I want like break it down for everybody from the darkest time of your life to where you are. How did you get here? When we're in a dark place, there will be moments of light. Even if it's tomorrow, I'm going to work out. Tomorrow, I'm going to eat better. Tomorrow, I'm going to be nicer to my husband. Tomorrow, I'm going to take my daughter to the park. Any of those, the tomorrows. When you wake up in the morning and you have that brief second of, I'm going to do it, do it. Okay. And if it takes a year of, I'm going to do it, forgive yourself. It's okay because eventually you'll do it and you will do it. I did it. I just turned 50 last October. Okay. I got to walk into 50 having done all the things that people want to do when they're 50. Didn't you tell me that you just put the same pair of jeans on that you had when you got married? Which I was like said, a monument, which, which was like a I'm milestone. wearing them. Yeah, these are them? <laughs> I'm wearing them. These are my rehearsal dinner jeans. Amazing. And the difference of my body from my wedding is that I have muscle, I have a booty, you know, and... And we're going to show everybody some before and afters. Yes. So, but I want everyone to know that it's not, it's, it's not, when everyone likes to have a name for it, it's, there's no name for it. It's your life. Yeah. It's taking it back. Yeah. And life itself is a journey. And if you can, if you say it's a journey, it's something you continue to do and you will fall down and you will get up and you will fall down and you'll have good days and you'll have bad days. But if you wake up in the morning, that's the gift right there. And I broke it down simply and very simple because 75 pounds is, I thought there's no way I can do it. There's no way. I've passed the point of no return, you know, and you had said something, you know, just, just do it, just show up. Show I remember up. how much I'll fear meet you, you there. I, met, I remember I'll how meet much you fear there. you met it's me okay. with. And I was like, that's okay. Get your fear. Get your butt here. <laughs> Just show up with your fear, with all the doubt. Just yes. show up and let your body do what it's gonna taste do. it a little bit. And if you fail, you remember. I was like, so you fail. If it's too hard, you just lay down on the floor. You're exactly. just laying on the floor. Exactly. In a room trying to take care of your body. And if you can't do it, that's totally amazing too. The next time you try, you're going to do just a little bit more. And I watched you get stronger and get thinner and get more confident and get lighter and get happier. And it was the most beautiful it's, transformation it makes me to want witness. It, now, it, it, was, just, it's, it was. It was absolutely it's, beautiful. It's amazing the power of the mind, and it's amazing what your body can do. You know, we carry we carry children, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so gaining weight and losing weight and gaining weight, yeah. we've all done it before. Yeah. Some of us bigger amounts, some of us smaller amounts. For me, when I walked through the doors of a workout studio and then I found the workout that worked for me and the eating program, which is like almost Huge. 100% of yeah. what you do on your uh, challenges um, on the app, I just didn't think about the number and I Mm. didn't weigh myself. I took out all the clothes that I hid in the back of my closet. I brought them all in the front of my closet. And I just looked at them every day and I said, eventually, eventually that day will come. And I let go of the number and I let go of the scale and I just said, I'll try things on and I'll just keep watching myself. And if I eat a burger, I eat a burger. The next day or the next meal will be different. Or, you know, listen to the stuff that's going on around you. Listen to the different workouts. Eavesdrop on the conversations. If I wasn't eavesdropping on a conversation in a workout class, I would have never gone to the doctor and found out that I needed a full hysterectomy because I had cancerous endometriosis. I would never have known that. And certain ways of eating, certain things, we just... 
you got to keep you just keep an open mind if i can tell anybody any mom that feels like you've lost yourself the gift is getting yourself back and it is always there if you wake up in the morning when you open up those eyes that's the gift what you decide to do with it the rest of the day is up to you it can be a good day it can be a bad day it could be a so-so day we all yell at our children we all eat burgers we all eat red vines <laughs> and we all eat salads okay <laughs> we all squeeze into our jeans we even rip our jeans we outgrow our jeans and we, we outgrow our jeans it. and then we get back into them but the thing is and it is like i said in the very beginning it's a simple act of kindness and that's what you gave me and that's was huge because you know we're like we're, we're sponges we we soak up whatever we can because we go when we go when we go when we go as moms or career women or whatever we have to feed the soul and the soul for me isn't just food anymore now it's the energy i get from my workout friends my that. workouts i don't want anyone to underestimate the power of connection because yes. as women and in a community like this and the simple unintentional gesture yeah that brought us together and started yeah. this friendship it was powerful beyond the possibility of I, i had no idea who you were and what you were going through but when we connect as women and we inspire each other you don't know how powerful that is to invite somebody to give somebody the gift of health to invite someone to a class to work out with someone yeah. to take that walk with your friend who maybe is feeling down and out to tune in with your own body to check out of the world a little bit to connect with someone to go have that cup of tea yes to invite somebody to try something yes. to know that somebody's down and out and give them the gift of trying something different and that's I, 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 I said that to myself that you know so many people on my journey of life have helped me out and been there for me and and that's what I'm giving back you know accepting the fact that that was a hard time and I came out of it and recognizing the person in the mirror yeah. today those are actually gifts to other people and showing up is not just a gift to yourself it's a gift to the person that is struggling that you don't really know is struggling yeah and showing up for yourself yes first just showing up maybe not knowing what you're showing up for or how yeah. you're going to get there showing up for yourself in my opinion is the start and the other women in class and in this community that have watched your transformation you have given them so much hope and so much power Thank and you. so much inf- inspiration and I just appreciate your vulnerability to tell the story because um anybody has the power to do it it's it's doing it and you know I I just look at it as a gift today, you know. You said in class and I think you say things and I don't think you actually know what you're saying because you're probably feeling it. But you said you're here, that's that's a gift. You're able to do this. It's all it's all, you know, I I break it back down to opening your eyes in the morning. It's pretty simple. I am with you. you it's know? so simple. You just you just make a commitment to yourself and show up. And the commitment doesn't have to be 24/7 because mm. it will you'll fall off of it. Do you know why we started the summer slim down with 28 days where other people are doing 80, 60? 28 days we can wrap our head around. Absolutely. By the way, there's two rest and recovery days within every week. So Absolutely. Really? It's a little over 3 weeks to give yourself the gift of health and the yes. opportunity to go through a total transformation. Whatever that is, inside outside, it's 28 days. 